can scientists create a family tree for all of humanity? All humans are connected to a common ancestor. We all trace our history back to ancestors who are part of our family tree. Our family tree goes back 7 million years to the time when our early ancestors walked on land for the first time. As our evolution continued, our family tree grew bigger. It became much more complex and more interconnected with new branches representing different species of direct ancestors and close relatives. But can scientists create a family tree for all of humanity? A group of scientists believe they can. Thanks to new scientific advancements, it's now possible to sequence all of your DNA for about the cost of a smartphone. Scientists from Oxford, MIT, and Harvard University are now mapping all the genetic relationships among humans in a single family tree that traces the ancestry of all of us. What does all of this mean for us? What can we learn from an ancestry tree, and can it help us eradicate certain diseases? Throughout history, DNA has been evolving and registering new information about our origins. Mapping our ancestral genomes has allowed scientists to uncover secrets in the mysterious journey of humanity. The past two decades have seen extraordinary advancements in human genetic research, generating genomic data for hundreds of thousands of individuals, including from thousands of prehistoric people. This means that we can now trace the origins of human genetic diversity, and by doing so, we can produce a complete map of how individuals across the world are related to each other. In fact, scientists have already built a huge family tree. So, how did they actually do it? Some areas in our genes are inherited from one parent only, either the mother or the father. These genes create different trees. The set of trees, known as tree sequences, link genetic regions back through time to our ancestors. According to scientists, we are now able to estimate when and where those ancestors lived. The scientists analyzed data from modern and ancient human genomes. The modern genomes came from eight different databases, with over 3,600 individual genome sequences from 215 populations. The ancient genomes included three Neanderthal genomes, a Denisovan genome, and a family of four who lived in Siberia more than 4,000 years ago. The researchers then used algorithms to predict where common ancestors must be present in the evolutionary trees. This innovative method allows scientists to build the tree even if some of the data is missing or inaccurate. By using ancient genomes, scientists can calibrate tree sequences. The resulting network contained almost 27 million ancestors. The scientists didn't stop here. After adding location data on these sample genomes, they estimated where the predicted common ancestors had lived. By doing so, they successfully created a map that recaptured key events in human evolutionary history, including the migration out of Africa. This kind of map can help us understand how and why some of our ancestors survived while others didn't. Was it luck? Genetic differences? Climate conditions? Or man-made decisions? So, what's next? Researchers are working on improving the quality of genome sequences from modern and ancient DNA samples. This would help them make the tree even more accurate. The new data will eventually help us generate a single, unified map that explains the descent of all the human genetic variation from ancient history to today. Would you provide scientists with your DNA to help recreate humanity's family tree? Share your thoughts in the comment section.